Well, 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 I figured, you know what? I'm sure a lot of people are probably thinking about this. I'm not sure I thought about this. Why should Iran fear the U.S.? But above all, why should Salami today fear the dreaded B2 spirit? Hmm? I don't, I don't know about you guys and all my fans around the world, but I don't think I'd want to tango with this thing. Remember how I told you that it carries bunker busters and thermonuclear missiles? Oh, yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to dive on defense updates. I'm going to fucking do some research into this thing. Let's see what the B-2 can do. Y'all want to know what the B-2 can do? Let's get into it. This is why you come to my news channel and you don't go on Fox News. Because they're not going to tell you what the they're not going to tell you the capabilities of these things. That's why you come to me. The no bullshit news. All right, let's get it. Let's get this party started. Let's get it started. All right, the B2 coming in at speed. Top speed 0 0.95 Mach. So that's moving. It's moving. It's going it's going just about Mach 1, so it's it can move. All right, here we go. It was originally meant to be a high-lying bomber, but now they've redesigned this bomber to be a low-flying bomber. So we have a brand new bomber out there called the B-21. I tried to do the specs on the B-21. There's like nothing to it. It just says it's stealth as fuck, and it's, it's America designed the B-21 to blow up the dreaded S-400 and S-500 missile defense system. That's what they're designed to do. The, the B-2 can strike the S-400 too, but it's a lot it's a lot easier for the B-21 because it's, it's uh, more stealth and it's smaller. So this is our brand new bomber, the B-21. So someday they might give us some specs on the B-21, but right now we're just going to focus in on the B-2. Why Salami should fear this motherfucker? All right, let's see how many bombs it carries. Okay, the payload of this thing is 50,000 pounds. Holy shit. 50,000 pounds of payload? Damn, dude. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it carries 16 of those B-61 bunker-busting bombs. Now, the thing about the B-61 bunker-busting bombs that I've been telling you about that would blow, that would blow up his nuclear facility sky high... Uh, let's just put it into easiest terms. The Hiroshima bomb that was dropped in World War II had a had 13 kiloton bomb. 13 kiloton bomb. Okay, that's the one that created so much devastation in Hiroshima, and Fat Boy was a little less. The B-61 gravity bomb has a 50. Kiloton bomb. So the Hiroshima's 13. This thing's 50. And you can change it. You can dial it in to be half of that if you really want to. These things, these things you can dial them in. So you can have a smaller yield explosion or you can have a really big explosion. Some have a feeling. I got a feeling. They're set on 50. So if you're gonna do it, you might as well go all out, right? So, but the range of this thing is 6,900 miles, so it can strike anywhere in the globe. Anywhere in the world, this thing can strike. And right now, they're being uh, positioned in uh, Qatar right now. So, there's two B-2s and four B-52s over there right now. So, what this, what this uh, bomb is designed to do, it's called a gravity bomb, the B-61. It's a brand new bomb that they were, they've been trying for like the, about the last two years. They've been, really, they've been really practicing with it in the desert, so over there in Arizona. What it does is that when it goes down, it just comes straight fucking down. And then it drills a hole in the earth. And then she goes down in the earth. How deep is classified? I don't know. We don't know that. But it goes in the ground, and then it blows it. And then it sets off a fucking... 50 kiloton bomb and blows anything and everything underneath the ground up, blows the facilities up. It just eliminates everything, anything and everybody. So in the path of this thing is going to be have a very, very bad day. So there's your B2. 
they don't give them any specs out there. I just give you what I what I can find. So I did a little bit of searching on it because I want to know what this thing is capable of. And jeez, six sixteen. That's a lot of bombs, dude. That's crazy. You only need one, but they got sixteen on this motherfucker. So they probably got one B two loaded with these things and the other one loaded with thermonuclear missiles. You might as well, you know. You wouldn't you wouldn't load two B-52s full of or or B-2s full of these things, so because you really only need one. You really only need one bomb. Cause if you set that thing to 50 kilotons, trust me, that'll blow that whole area to pieces, dude. The smithereens. That'll be the end of that fucking facility if they try to fucking start up their you know their hard water project today and get the uranium enrichment going over there. So all eyes are on you, Salami. It's this it's what you decide to do. Do you want this B-2 Spirit with the B-61 bunker-busting bombs, thermonuclear bu bunker-busting bombs they be raining down on your capital today or on your nuclear facilities? Well, the choice is yours. If you want to fire on U.S. ships, the Arleigh, Arleigh Bird class destroyers, boy, they're going to answer right back at you, I tell you that. So, But as of right now, the USS Arlington has passed through the Suez Canal and it is, it is steaming its way towards the Middle East, so... With 109 fucking tomahawks, dude. I love tomahawks. They're nice, dude. They're just pinpoint accuracy. So, tread lightly today, salami. Because your days are numbered. I am certainly glad that I'm not you today and I don't have B2 spirits with my fucking name on it. But this is what you wanted. This is what you're going to get. You want a war, Trump will give you a war. So, there it is. There's the B-2 spirit. So, boys and their toys. So, too bad we couldn't do a video on the B-21 Raider, dude. That's the brand new one. That one's smaller than the B-2. But it's a lot more stealthy. Like I said, it's only designed for one purpose and one purpose only to kill the dreaded Russian S-400 missile defense system. Can it take down the Russian S-400? I don't know. It's never been put to the test. Wouldn't that be crazy? Too bad, we, too bad we're not friends with Russia. Too bad they hate our guts, or else we could, we could fire off a missile off the fucking dreaded, you know what I mean? The dreaded S-400 and see if the B-21 can invade it, dude. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think the S400. I know it's got I know it's got all these different stealth modes to it, but I don't know if it could pick up the B21. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's only one way to find out is if there's ever a war between America and Russia, boy, they'll find out real quick if the fucking S400 can find the F22 and the F35. They'll find out real quick. This is why Ankara wanted it Turkey wanted it so bad. They wanted the dreaded S400 cuz they didn't want NATO in their in their skies. They pretty much shut down the airspace with the S-400. So, but there you go, the hand of God, Salami. It's in your country. It's in Qatar. It's ready to go. It's ready to bomb the shit out of you. So, whatever you decide to do today, it's all eyes are on you. It's up to you, buddy. What are you going to do? Are you going to live today or are you going to die? Choice is yours. You have that choice. You have that right. To shut down the Strait of Hormuz. But if you do, there will be war. I guarantee it. I don't think Trump's going to sit by idle and just let you just shut down 40% of the world's oil trade. 40% of the world's oil come right through there on a day to day basis. 40%? That's a lot of oil, dude. So if you think for one minute you can just shut that thing down and tell America to get fucked. You got another thing coming. You'd be better off getting on the red phone like Trump tried to call you today and tried to beg you to fucking reconsider these notions of threatening the U.S. and threatening U.S. allies and the American special forces in Iraq and Syria. But if this is the path that you want to go down, this then just take that finger... And push that button. The 
B2s are there. They're ready for you. They got four thermonuclear missiles on them. How big a missile is classified? Trust me, I tried to look into that too. <laughs> it's all classified. You don't know what type of missiles are on these things. That's the scary thing, isn't it, Salami? You don't know what these things are carrying. Does that make you lose sleep at night knowing that the goddamn B-21 or the B-2s are probably in the area? For all I know, there probably is a B-21 in the area. I just don't know about it yet. For all I know, there's a raider above your fucking head right now, Salami. I know there's I know there's drones above your head right now waiting to fucking strike on you. With the dreaded Hellfire missile. You think you can escape a Hellfire Salami? No. You won't. So you sure as hell ain't gonna escape the Ginsu is that fucking thing right flies right through your fucking motorcade and your car and these six blades go inside your car and chop every one of you motherfuckers to pieces, dude. There's one thing about the Ginsu, it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weapon to have because you know what? It's only designed to kill you. That's right, Salami, you. It's going to dice you up like you never fucked, like you couldn't even fathom, dude. So your best bet is to get on the little red phone today or whatever color fucking phone you got and you better call the President Trump, Donald J. Trump, and you better Beg for your life, dude. Because John Bolton, it's all over Fox News this morning. It's all over. Tucker was talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. John Bolton has been dreaming for this moment, this day, for a long time. Dude, remember how I told you that before the last plane hit, they said, tie this, tie this into Iraq or Iran. We're going to make a lot of money on a war. Well, which country did they choose? They chose Iraq. They did not choose your country. They could have chosen your country. They could have obliterated your country, but nope, they decided to attack Iraq. You have a much bigger military than Iraq ever did. I, I'll give you that. You got a big army. You got a big Revolutionary Guard army. And you got little bullets and you got that. But you know what? In comparison to the United States of America, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. You're like a little bug. That we just need to squash. And that's exactly what Donald J. Trump is going to do to you. If you're ballsy enough today to send orders to your, to your troops to actually have them pull the trigger on American Special Forces over there. Those poor American Special Forces that are stuck in Iraq. There's only 2,000 of them in the entire country. So, But I'll tell you right now. Them American Special Forces are going to fight to the fucking bitter end. I'll guarantee you, they're, they're going to bring the fight right to you. If you think your guards, your Revolutionary Guards Force can just get away with fucking shooting a bunch of U.S. soldiers in the back over there in Syria and Iraq today, you got another thing coming. Them soldiers are going to give you hell, dude. So we'll see what today brings. But there you go. There's the B-2 bomber. I'm sure a lot of people want to know what the dreaded B-2 can do. 50,000 pounds of bombs. 50,000 pounds? Damn. 16 B-61 thermal nuclear bunker busting bombs. 16 per plane? Damn. There you go. There you go, world. So if you, if you ever see one of these things flying in the sky, you know, the spirit in the sky, because that's exactly what it is. That's why they call it the spirit, man, because it's like the spirit in the sky, dude. You tangle with it, you're dead. All right. As always, love and peace from Fargo. I love you guys very much. We will see what today brings. Today will probably be a pretty crazy day. Right now it's been pretty quiet, but he gave the orders. Like I said, he gave the orders to attack. So we're just sitting by idle, waiting for an attack. All right, love you all.